if you notice, can you go back to that? If you notice, there is a signature here. But this has been altered. You see, the signature already or originally was for 67. Now it has, TPEX has been covered, used to cover this six. A zero has been added, and now you see seven. You look at the APC, originally it was 20. Or 22, most likely. 20 or something, right? And then now you see the TPEX here. A one has been added, and now it's 120. So the signatures are there, but these results have been tampered with and then uploaded. And there are so many instances of this. And then also you find that a lot of results are being called as results, authentic results, are being called as authentic results, but you see that there are state assembly results or presidential results. Like for instance, this is the state assembly result, but it's being submitted as the governorship result. And it is this result that is being calculated and announced by INEC. So there are so many instances of this, right? And it's not going to stand because we have our results. We're in the lead with our results, and we're going to challenge this in the Mr. court of law. Two Go ahead. One, 19 local governors have been collated and announced so far. It was outstanding. He won in a board of him. Uh, the incumbent has won in 18 local governments. I've seen that situation that you've been listening already. The next call would be for you to make the call. If you do not make the call, he was issued with a certificate of return. Are you rejecting the results of the I completely election? condemn the entirety of this election in every clear term. This was a sham of an election. It was a compromise. It was an illegality that has not been perpetrated in Lagos since I've been born. This was an election where entire agents of a party were chased away from their polling units. This was an election where people were standing, and if you came to vote and you were not Labour Party, they were beating you. I have had to pay the bill for over 12 people. One was in concussion, he just woke up today. One's leg is completely broken, he has to go into um, surgery. And I've been doing this this entire morning. I cannot even transfer money again because I'm done transferring just on hospital bills. So I condemn this. I will never call Babajide Sonwulu to congratulate him for this shambolic, this sham of an election, this violence that's literally setting a precedent for war in the next election, because nobody's going to come into elections believing that they will discuss ideas and issues anymore. Because what is it about? It's about who is the most violent. Second question, you said the police was complicit. in the war, or what the commission and the said every situation they responded to, and the entire security scenario did not prevent voting. They did not prevent voting. They did not prevent voting, that's what he said. That, that, is, that, is, that is a big lie. It is a big lie. I thank the Army. I thank the DSS. I thank the Navy. I thank the, I thank the Neighborhood Watch that came. If these people did not get involved, what you see, what all the videos you have seen will be child's play compared to what the reality would have been. In Ikorodu, people died. In Apapa, someone died. In Shomulu, someone died. So how are you saying that people will be aware that a person has been killed and they will come out and vote? In Nigeria, my fellow do, people were sitting down in their house because they were literally threatening them that if they come out, they will kill them. And they were following people and going to their houses. After you, they will follow you to your houses to go and threaten and threaten to harm your family. This Lagos deserves so much more. Look at all your state, Shay Mackin Day One. People are jubilating. He did not have to use any violence. You don't have to use any intimidation. When you serve your people, your people will return you to office. You, you should not be, we should not be seeing videos of so much violence statewide. And you're saying that you're, you're dancing and celebrating won an election. You plan to govern these same people? Even Yoruba people were being assaulted because they apparently looked Igbo. This is what Lagos has become under the APC government. So this cannot carry on. And I call on every well-meaning Lagosian Nigerian, we must stand against this. Because, see, there's a saying that when they came for the Jews, you kept quiet. It went. They came for the Muslims, you kept quiet. Eventually, when they come for you, 
everybody will be quiet. So we must stand against all of this because real lives are at stake here. Real businesses, people's live streams are at stake. And we are, go we are going to do our part, make sure we collect, collect all the data, go to court for, to fight for the people's mandate, but the people themselves must stand up against this ethnic violent tribalism that the APC government is trying to normalize in our state. Because this has started all the way from NSARS, where they made us to believe that violence did not happen till today now. And then you have a commissioner of police saying this is a free and fair election. So are you saying that your team has its own records of these results? Yes, we have collated all the results as much as we could, because there are places where they chase all our agents out. There are places where they burnt results in our jaw. Several places where we're calling for cancellation of those results and a rerun. There are places where our ballots were thrown into the gutter. We dried those ballots. We counted it. We've kept records. So essentially, are you going to call for cancellation of We are calling for several cancellations where violence was the order of the day, because elections did not happen there. And the international community is watching, and they also know that elections did not happen in these places. So you cannot create so much violence against Lagosians, right results, and we should celebrate that election happened. Elections did not happen in Lagos. So you expect to see on the election petition tribunal? Certainly. My, my legal team is already on it. We are here compiling our results, and we are going to fight, like I said, because the people that came out to vote did so with so much courage. They came to vote in hope. We were not incentivizing them with money. Despite all the traditional institutions to try and scare them with the Oro Festival, they still came out with courage. So we owe it to them to fight for every single vote, and we are going to do just that. So thank you.